eight kids. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. Ooh, you're telling me. For a young guy like yourself. Ooh. How does that happen? Man, I was, I'm country. That's all, <laughs> that's all we had to do in the country. No, you wanted I, a man, baseball team? <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I had, you know, I had kids young, man. I was like 17 years old. Then by 18, I had two. I had three by 19. Then had them so young, by that 21, 22, I was already at like uh, five kids. It's like it happened so fast, you know. You know, when you're wilding out in high school, and I'm, for some reason, the girls I dealt with got pregnant. Mm. You know, we all out there wilding. And, um, man, they got pregnant, you know. And that's how I went. I had them so early, then later on, you know, the girl I'm with now, we got two. But, she, you know, she she going to be the one. She We, we, we get married, so it's, it calmed down towards the end. It started out bad, ended up good. Now, somebody watching this interview and hearing or seeing the title, Eight Children, mm -hmm. One might comment or say, wouldn't you think about stopping after three or four or five or six yeah. or seven? <laughs> yeah, I, I feel them, man. But at the end of the day, see, I'm in my own world to the point I take care of my children over it, past child support and still got a lot left. So it's, it's like it, they really don't need to be worried about me if everybody mind their business when it mm. comes to that. Now, you know, th see, that's the thing about Country Wayne. That's why I don't care about saying it, because I'd I be ready for them questions, because the questions they should be asking, how is he taking care of eight kids, never been on TV, mm. touring all around the country, mm. and doing what he's doing? See, then they looking at the right thing, then they realize it's only God, because how can I take it do that? So if they worry about what he should have did, they got problems in their life. My kids straight, my family good. Now, when it comes to your children, are any of them... Following your footsteps, are they trying to be funny like you? Are they trying to be little comedians like yourself? Man, they not trying to be, it's natural. Mm. Man, these kids are funny. Like me, I never tried to be a comedian, it just happened. Like my, my first time putting a video up was two, October 2014. So this don't happen fast. Like, so my kids, they naturally, they don't even know. Like my sons, they know they try to be funny because they're older. But man, they my, my girls, they really, naturally funny do they come to your shows do they see your material my sons came i took them earlier last year or uh, 2015 i took them to a couple of shows but my girl's too young i don't really take them now your first child you had when you were 17 years old mm -hmm. so teen father yeah. teen dad yeah was that hard for you at that age yeah it was scary <laughs> it was scary i'm going to school i'm trying people buy my school clothes so mm -hmm. i went to school that year nothing but naked what grade were you back then when you had your first child? 12th grade. 12th grade, so just about done. Yeah, just about done. And by the time of graduation, um, the, uh, the mother, I mean, the mother of that child, me and her was together. And I looked at her because me and her name was right, like close, her, my name, Coley, and her name in the seed. I looked at her, I say, have your cycle came on? She like, no, I like, you pregnant again? I said, oh, Lord. So that, was, <laughs> that was number two. I said, well, at least I'm graduating now. I can get a job. <laughs> now, uh, okay, somebody watching this, so let's say they're, they've just found out they're going to be a teen dad, right? Mm -hmm. um, any advice to a teenage father that's about stay to Stay drug-free because you can't afford to do no drugs now. Mm -hmm. um, man, just stay, just stay drug-free, man. Stay motivated and use that as motivation. It already happened. Kids are a blessing. You're either going to be a blessing or a stressing. You choose mm. which one to be. For me, my kids motivated me to the point, once I had a child, I haven't played around with life. I've been serious. I went from, you know, school to work to to hustling, throwing parties, to owning my own nightclubs at 26, 27, 28, had two nightclubs to the point my comedy career blew up. So it kept me, the kids motivated me. So instead of letting them stress me, they stretched me to the point now they're good for the rest of their life. Have you ever seen that show on MTV called Teen Mom? Yeah, I've seen clips of it, yeah. Is that a realistic depiction of teen parents? Yeah, I see it all the time. But, you know, it depends on the daddy. You mm. know, man, it depends on who the woman have a, the child by. You yeah. going to get a go-getter, uh, a, a no-figure. A goner. <laughs> a a no-figure. <laughs> now, uh, uh, when it comes to the relationship with these mothers, how many are there? Five. Five. Mm -hmm. um, everybody get along? Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they pretty, um, 
on the most part, yo. Uh, do they ever get together? No, not really. Okay. And uh, how does how do you make it work? They make work. <laughs> <laughs> I call when I want to see my children. When the children want to come, come to Daddy High for the summer. You want to come on the weekend? You know, I got two in the house with me now, so they stay there. You know, I got two by my last. I mean, the, the, the lady I'm with now. And um, the other ones, you know, when they they call daddy when they need something and they want to come see daddy, hey, it's all good. Do the mothers get along at all? or? Yeah, for the most part. Mm. Mm -hmm. Easy or hard maintaining a comedy career and having children? Man, it's hard, man. It's like, it's a grind. Because comedy, you know, um, but the good thing about comedy is, is it's not like the rap game. Because as long as you stay relevant and keep working on your material and keep new, fresh material, you're good forever. You know, because it ain't like you. Because everybody can't do this. Mm. Anybody get in that studio, chill it, chill it, chill it, chill it, chill it, mm. beans, beans, meat, <laughs> meat, spoon, 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 <laughs> salt, pepper. Everybody can't get on that stage and hold that microphone, no music behind you, and just make people laugh. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's kind of like, it's hard, but as long as you work hard, man, you're going to eat forever. What do you think the hardest part is uh, dealing and having multiple children, like the numbers you do? The different households. Like, I, if I had to wish one thing, I wish I would have had them all by one woman so I could have all my kids in one household, mm. you know, because, like, it's a lifestyle difference. Like, me and my kids that's in the household with me, they live in a different lifestyle than... Um, my kids that's not with me now. They live a lifestyle when they come to my house, but they not living the same lifestyle when they're away from me, because, you right. know, it's a financial difference, for, um, you know. What's the best part about having multiple children? Man, because it's like, you already see the future. Because it's hard to, when you're a businessman, a uh, businesswoman or whatever, you realize the more hardest thing to do is find loyal, loyal work, people to work, and people you could trust and work, and do things that you, but when it's your children, you already see, okay, I got me some people coming that I could trust. Even if they take a little bit, I'm like, hey, at least it's my child taking from it. Now, what about like when it comes to birthdays and I holidays? I, I forget. <laughs> I don't know, hey, I forget all their birthdays. I'm, man, I don't about forgot their ages. Uh, serious, no joke here. Serious. Somebody has to remind me, but one of them will remind me, like, daddy, daddy, you know, it's all your birthday. <laughs> like, oh yeah! So I call the child, eleven thirty 30 at night. Mom have to wake the baby up. Let me sleep. Hey, hey, I'm like, happy birthday, baby! Happy birthday! I ain't forgot. I was just busy. Now, somebody watching this having to deal with multiple baby mothers or multiple children, uh, any general advice you would give somebody? Taste the chick. Focus on that. Focus on your business. So you, if you look back and see your problems for real, you gonna faint. Cause you like, hold up, I got this the mamas and the children to deal with. So focus on what you supposed to be focused on. So by the time you do look at that, you can handle it. Mm -hmm. Don't 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 look at the problem. Look at the solution. And just for the record, are you done with kids? I got one on the way. <laughs> <laughs> number, number nine. No, nah, I ain't done, man. Me and, me and, you know, my girl, she say she done. She say having one more, and that's it. Mm. For real. Ever had a thought about a vasectomy or something like that? I thought about it, but I don't want Twisting the tubes up. I don't want to clip. Man, <laughs> it won't will. You know, I told her, get her too tired. Mm.